If you've shot your video footage handheld and it's shaky, it might not look very good. So to fix this, we can stabilize it. Today, we'll be showing you how to stabilize your footage in HitFilm Express 2017. Today's tutorial is going to be rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So HitFilm's stabilization method is, I should warn you, a little bit different from what you might expect. Programs such as Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro have simple stabilization methods where you just apply an effect or turn on stabilization for a video and it'll analyze the video footage and then stabilize it for you. HitFilm, however, is a little bit different. You have to track the movement in your video by using normal 2D point tracking and then stabilize your footage by making that point stay perfectly still in your video. So there's no kind of halfway stabilization in HitFilm. As a result, HitFilm stabilization works great for some clips, for others not so well. For example, this first clip, which you see here, has been shot handheld, but probably using a gimbal or with other some kind of stabilization device, and it is already pretty smooth. However, shots like this, while yes, it's pretty smooth already, it has been shot handheld and there is a lot of movement, so it's probably not suitable to be looking at stabilizing that in HitFilm. So we're just going to start off with the example of the first clip to see how we can stabilize that inside of HitFilm. I'm just going to select this clip in the media panel and right click Make Composite Shot, because we have to create a composite shot to do tracking. If you already know how to do tracking, great, you can skip to this point in the video. I'm just going to quickly change the workspace to compositing, since we are compositing, and it's got a larger viewer and a bigger track panel. Just open up your video layer like so, and then hit the plus icon next to tracks. You'll notice a couple of things happen. First of all, we're in the layer, now instead of the viewer. This is where we view a single layer in our composite shot, instead of the whole thing. Then we've also moved over into the track panel over here. And we're also selecting our own new tracker right here. So there are two boxes over here. One's a red box and one's a green box. The red box is the actual feature that we want to track. And the green box is the search area. In every frame, it's going to search for the red box in the area of the green box. So you want your red box to be pretty small and have lots of contrast. My first thought would be, oh, let's track the sun, but since the sun moves relative to the clouds quite a bit, I think we're just going to track something on the ground here. So I'm just going to scroll down, drag this over here, and I'm just going to track an object, say, over here, maybe on the edge here. And I'm just going to zoom in, maybe lower the size a little bit, and then I'm also going to lower the size of the search area, since there isn't really much movement in this clip. You can do a single point track like this, or do a double point, which uses the relative position of the two points to create rotation and scale values as well. Usually this is more accurate, so I'm just going to go double point and then drag this down onto another point here, uh, somewhere over here perhaps. Once you've selected your track points, just go back to scale to fit. You leave the method as optical flow and leave all the settings the same. Then all you have to do is hit the track forward button right here and it will begin tracking your footage for you frame by frame. If anything goes wrong then HitFilm will stop the tracking and then you'll have to reposition each track point and then begin tracking again. However in a clip like this it looks like it's a pretty easy track for HitFilm to do. So I'll just leave it running and I'll be back with you when it's done. We have now reached the end of the video and the track is complete. As you can see, the track points are pretty smooth, and our video is already pretty stable, so it seems to have been a good track. Now to stabilize your video, all you have to do is select the purpose to be stabilize instead of transform. If you've used two points like I have, you can also hit rotation and scale to stabilize those parameters as well. Then just hit apply, and your stabilization will be complete. Just go into the viewer, and you'll notice that the clip is suddenly moved off to the side. Let's just go back to the beginning and play this back, and you'll notice that the video layer is actually moving, whereas the footage actually looks pretty still, even though it's all the way over to the side here. This is because we didn't really put the anchor points in the right place when we tracked them, but that's okay, we can easily fix that right now. All you have to do is go into the transform and then adjust the position. 
until it's in pretty much a good place. And then just play it back and see what happens. You'll notice that the video layer is slowly moving left because of the movement and you'll notice that now the video looks almost completely still. Before there was a little bit of movement, but now these two points are locked in place. Well, you might be asking right now, how do you get rid of these transparent areas right here? Well, what you can do is select a new layer, make it a point layer, and then parent this layer to the point layer. And now whatever you do on the point layer, it'll also happen to the bottom footage. So in the point layer, I'm just going to open up the scale, just scale it in like so, and now the footage completely fills the frame. You'll lose a bit of quality, but that happens every time you stabilize something in whatever program. And now the footage is really stable, and it also fills the frame really nicely. So that kind of stabilization works really well within HitFilm. So that's pretty much the tutorial, but I also wanted to show you what happens when we use a shot like this. So I'm just going to quickly make a composite shot out of this and do the same kind of thing. I'm just going to open this up, make a new track, and I'm just going to set the track point. I'm going to make a single point. I'm just going to set it to be the tie right here. And I'm just going to make it like that. Pretty big search area because there's a lot more movement in this clip. And I'm just going to let it run and I'll be back with you when it's done. And the track is now complete. Scrubbing through, it looks pretty good. It seems to have tracked onto the guy's tie pretty well. And now we're just going to see what happens when we stabilize it. I'm just going to select the purpose to be stabilized, and since we've only got one point, there's only position values. So I'm just going to hit apply, and let's see what happens. Going back into the viewer, it looks pretty okay, but playing it back, we'll notice there's a lot of movement. The clip moves around a lot, and uh, so that's pretty problematic. So I'm just going to, uh, let's see, adjust the position, move it right a bit to try and fill up that space. And I'm just going to scale it in now. I don't need that extra point because we've only got the position values in there. Oh, maybe we should move it a bit more to the right. So now we've scaled in and everything. You can notice that now the tie is completely in the same place, but there's a couple of problems with our footage. If you'll notice in areas like this, where there's a lot of kind of movement in the actual clip, but we've stabilized it, you can notice there's some motion blur and uh, some artifacts going on, and it's not really very pleasant. Additionally, we've had to scale in quite a bit, and the kind of stabilization that's been going on here, it kind of looks like he's, I don't know, kind of pinned to where that tie is, and it doesn't look very natural at all. So this is a kind of example where stabilization in here film doesn't really work, uh, because, yeah, just looking at him looking around, he just looks so strange. So this is an example where it hasn't really worked, HitFilm stabilization is probably better for clips like this. Anyways, I hope that helped you out. If it did, then be sure to leave a like on this video, it really helps. Also, if you want more videos like this, be sure to be subscribed. And of course, comment down below if there's anything else you want to see. Share it with people that you might think want to see this. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.